Hi, welcome to Easy Breezy Math, where the math has meaning. It's not just a bunch of numbers. On my whiteboard today, what I wanted to go over is the area of a circle and see the area of a circle and go from that to the relationship between a cylinder, the volume of a cylinder, the volume of a cone, and the volume of a sphere. They're all connected and we want to see these connections in math. So let's begin. First, when I have my area of a circle, if you see my videos on circle, you'll see how I usually go out and fill in this area. What we first talk about is halfway through the circle, which we know is our R radius five, all the way through the circle then would be 10. Distance around the circle would be what? 10 pi. And then how big is that circle? How much space will it take up? Every time we think of area, we want to think of base times height. In this case, the base and the height are the same. They're both the radius five times five is 25. Odd. And that's our area for the circle. So now once I have that area for the circle, let's look at how it relates to the cylinder, the volume of a cylinder. Now a cylinder, when we talk about volume, we're talking about filling this up with sand or water or how much I can fit inside this container. It's a three dimensional figure. So now I'll have my base of the circle. I already found the area. What I want to do is stack that area up just like a stack of quarters, right? So if I have 10 quarters stacked up, I made the numbers real simple. We'll just have 250 times pi. Okay, hopefully we can see that. Let's make it a little darker so we can see it. 250 times pi, then will be my volume for the cylinder, okay? Now, when you go from a cylinder to a cone, all you have to do really is understand the simple fact that if I took this cone and put it inside the cylinder, and if I could squish it around the edges, I could actually fit three of these cones in one cylinder. That's right, three of those will fit in one of there. So if there's three of those that will fit inside of there, that means that this is about one third of the actual volume, okay? Which means we can just divide it by three. So the volume there would be 250 pi divided by three. And there we have it, that's the volume of the cone. Now, interestingly enough, when we have a sphere, there's a, another relationship that we can think about. If I take this sphere and I think of it and it's just splitting it up into four equal parts, right? Now, this is an actual three-dimensional object like a ball. And if I take and cut it here and cut it there, what I'll have is I'll have four different parts. These parts now can be considered cones. That's right. They're like cones when I want to take the measurement. So... Basically, if I have the same radius, which is the five, was the same radius all the way through, I can just take this and multiply it by four. That's right. So it's four of those. So it becomes four times 250 divided by three pi. And that would give me the volume of the sphere. So I was able to find all of these without using any formula. When we get away from them, we gain a deeper understanding of the math. And it's not just a bunch of numbers up here. And that's what we want to do and continue from my videos. All right, there we've done it. We've gone from a circle to a cylinder to a cone all the way to a sphere with no formulas. If you like the video, go ahead and subscribe and we'll see you on the next one. Thank you.